Welcome back. Um, today is Saturday. I think the last time we left off. <sighs> hey y'all. So today is. Sorry, I had to make sure my mic was on. Hey y'all. So today is Saturday. Um, I think the last time we left off, it was Friday. I was doing muffins with mom. I was telling y'all that I was feeling sick y'all <laughs> I was like way sicker than I thought I thought I was getting like a little cold but no it was worse than a cold but now I'm feeling much much better today Caleb had a um let me find some light today Caleb had a t-ball game um and then we stopped at Costco to get a few groceries and um some laundry detergent and stuff and now i'm at home my husband and kids just left so i'm just hanging out i just got a package and i think it's the other arm or light for this light so let's see i believe that's what it is if so i'm happy because <laughs> that thing took like two weeks to come oh uh, let me put y'all on a tripod But she don't love me, she too scary. My hope is fun like Jackie Brown. I wanna know if she can sit down. Will you be my leading lady? I want a contract, get no lady. In the meantime, in some meantime, I'll be doing what you want. Everybody beats like Odell. Oh, oh, oh. No, but my killers don't tell. Shut down my mark of the New York to shell. Oh. Now my bitch is Chanel. Will you be my leading lady? I want a culture and get a little baby. In the meantime, it's a little bit. It's a meantime. I don't know what you want. Only been a few hours, but for like days. Only been days, but it feel like months. Only been days, but it feel like months. Life moves faster than you want. In the meantime, I'm just not doing what I want. In the meantime, I'm just not doing what I want. In the meantime, I'm just not doing what I want. In the meantime, I'm just not doing what I want. Maybe I'll love myself. I don't know. Leave me here, I'll fuck myself. See me in the mirror, I duck myself. Don't need much, I'll fuck my wealth.
Let's see if it works. It works! It works! I'm so excited. Oh my God. I got some of these tables and these chairs because I hate these chairs. I'm so excited! <sighs> the piece works. Super exciting. So. I don't know if a lot of y'all know this, but when you buy stuff from Amazon and it's missing parts or like a part breaks, even if you bought it a while ago, if you message the companies, usually they'll send you a piece, a replacement piece for free. Because my other chandelier I had up here was that like crystal one. And one of the crystals broke, like somebody threw something and hit it. And I was able to get the piece replaced. I just emailed them, sent them a picture of the piece that I was missing, and they sent it for free. And that's the same thing with this. I just emailed them and let them know, hey, the arm is messed up. I can't connect it. And they just sent me another one for free. So that's just a little tip if y'all, you know, ever something you buy from Amazon and you, and that's just in general though. Like if you buy something and something breaks, they'll usually send you a replacement piece for free. Or they may charge, you know, shipping, but they'll usually just send it plus shipping. So, yeah. You want to know something that's very expensive now? Foil. Foil. This was $30. Granted, it's a thousand square feet. It's, it's a lot of foil on here, but foil has gotten expensive as hell, okay? Thank you. 
you step out, get some in now, cut your edge out. To some ice spoke, you'll be heavy in my mind. Can you get the heck out? I need rest now, got me bum though. You so, you so, you.
wanna know if you my friend I just wanna know if you can I know I've been away y'all so I have wiped down all the countertops <sighs> put everything back in place but I remembered I needed to clean this oven I'm gonna let y'all see it so I was been cook something in here a while ago don't ask me what it was I don't remember um but I did the self-cleaning. Uh, I did a self-clean on here and it's still not coming out. So I like to do a self-clean to get the, the racks clean, honestly, because I'm not cleaning those by hand. I'm not taking them out. I'm not, I'm just not doing it. So I used to do like an hour, hour and a half for the self-cleaning. I think that's like a setting for either two hours or three hours. I never do the full two hours. I just do it enough to get the rice clean. But I did do it longer because I, I thought it was going to get all of that out, but it's not. <laughs> so I'm just about to use some easy off. Um, I ought to make him do it because he's the one who caused the freaking mess. But I'm just going to take these racks out and use some easy off um, to clean all of this. And it shouldn't be much because it's pretty clean. It's just the, like that's just like the ash. But when the self cleaning, when you put it on self clean, it gets so hot it creates ash. And that's what's happening, but it didn't ash it enough. Okay, so it's still in there. I need to unscrew this and turn this glass, but I'm not gonna do that today. y'all so i'm letting the oven uh, preheat for to 200 degrees and then i'm gonna turn it off and then spray it with this easy off i'm using easy off heavy duty y'all okay 
This works really well, but I would not. <laughs> if you have a sensitive nose or sensitive stomach, I would not recommend this. Like you damn near need a mask on to use this. It is, it stinks real, real bad. And I'm glad I'm at the end. I'm like at the end of this, thank God. Cause it smells horrible. I would probably use the film free uh, version of this if when I buy it in. But uh, yeah, this smells horrible. Uh, but it works fast and it works good. And I know y'all gonna say, use vinegar and baking soda. I, I'm a vinegar and baking soda girl too. Like I'm a natural, you know, I like to clean with natural products, but some stuff, I don't have time to wait two hours for vinegar and baking soda to work. I just want to get the shit. Oh, sorry. I just want to get the stuff <laughs> clean as quickly as possible. I don't have time like that. I'm not going to be scrubbing stuff for 25, 30 minutes. No. Oh. My bad. No. <laughs> so, yeah. Easy out. But I'm going to get the film free next time. But, yeah. This is also good for um, the bottom of, like, stainless steel pots and um, enamel pots. Like... Like these, you see how black they are? I clean the, I clean my skillets. These are like my egg skillets. They're not stick. I clean these with uh, this easy off. But yeah, I might do these today too. Yeah, cause they look a little rough. I'm gonna show y'all, but yeah. This and like the bottom of my, um, what else? The bottom of my um, stainless steel pots and stuff, I just use easy off. It gets it real clean, real quick. While that's preheating, I might as well show y'all what I use in my kitchen. I use the Lysol Kitchen Pro, or I use the um, Autobahn uh, Eucalyptus. I think, let me go grab it real quick so I can show you exactly what it looks like. Alright, so this is the older one that I use too. And it smells really, really good. It's like a light, fresh scent. It's not overpowering or anything. I like this a lot. And I think the kind that you can you can buy this in like the jug form. And I think you can use it in your laundry as a laundry disinfectant too. Don't call me on that. I don't know. I think you can. If I'm wrong, let me know. But yeah. I like this and then I, I use this. I kind of switch in between. Also, all right. So let's talk about the scrub daddy, mommy. Now this is the scrub mommy. It has like the rough side on one side and then it's soft on the other side. I didn't think that it mattered what a sponge looked like, or, you know, the, you know, I mean, it's a sponge, a sponge, a sponge, a sponge. Y'all, I love this. Scrub Daddy, I love this sponge. I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm like, I'm never going back to a regular sponge again. I don't know how they thought about the shape and the, the fact I could put my fingers in here and like really get, uh, how did y'all think of this? It seems so simple. The design seems so simple. You can put the spoon, excuse me. You can put the spoon and stuff in the mouth and get them clean. You can put your hand, fingers in there and like really get into the pot. It's always the simplest things to me. But anyway, Scrub Daddy, y'all got a new customer, okay? I've been influenced. I just gotta get a little holder for this. And if you wanna send me some for free, I won't, I won't deny them, okay? But yeah, I need to get a little holder for this for my sink, but yeah, I love these. Especially this one, cause it's like the rough and then it's soft on the other, um, it's dual sided. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I, 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 I tried for a long time not to not to hop on board, so I was like, okay. It's just hype, but no, they, these are really, really good, for real. All 
Okay. Y'all, my oven is at 200 degrees. I just turned it off. I'm gonna let the element um, cool down for a little bit and then I'm gonna spray this with the Easy Off. I think it's supposed to let it sit for three to five minutes. I need to get some gloves real quick too. Y'all, and please use the gloves with this. I'm about to open the windows too. Like I said, the fumes are like really, really strong. Please use some gloves. I might need to put a mask on. Please use some gloves, open your window, and maybe use a mask if you need to. Cause it is strong. I'm about to open my garage door too. It's strong. Maybe I'll love myself, I don't know Leave me here, I'll fuck myself See me in the mirror, I duck myself Don't need muscle, fuck my wealth Just 
talking out earlier I didn't realize I had the mic off <laughs> so we are making the seafood stuffed shells it's gonna have crawfish shrimp and lump crab meat and some spinach ricotta cheese and some um, chive and onion sour cream and a little bit of mozzarella mix it together we already have our filling made now I'm just about to make um, some Alfredo sauce to put on top and let it cook. And then that's going to be dinner for tonight, okay? Um, I've already cooked my shells. Y'all already saw that. Um, I'm making an Alfredo right now. So I have the butter. Let me turn this down. I have the butter, the garlic, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning. And now I'm about to add um, the cheese and the heavy whipping cream, which is why I turned the um heat down so let's make it
right guys i just want to hop on here and end out the vlog thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us and i will see you in the next one bye